Hello everyone, bringing you a video today which is just a short run through of a conversion I've carried out on a reproduction 1908 pattern cartridge carrier, converting it from a, a standard type with the press studs to an economy version. This uses one of the relatively cheap Indian reproductions which I've talked about in previous videos. I did a, a short repro review on them and uh, it was surplus to my requirements so I thought I'd have a go at converting it and that's what we're going to run through in the video now. So here we have a reproduction of the economy 1908 right hand cartridge carrier that I was going for. Probably pertinent here to show you examples of what I was going for when I was reproducing this. Around 1915 uh, economy versions of the 1908 cartridge carriers were introduced both left and right although they are seen mixed with the more usual type using press studs. These were introduced obviously to remove the need for press studs and they actually reduced the amount of brass involved fairly considerably as well in that you lose the equivalent of half of the male parts of the press studs and of course you lose the female part of the press stud as well so there's a fairly considerable reduction in the amount of brass used and also a simplification in manufacture. Now in addition to those historical photos I suggest you head over to Khaki Web where there are original examples of these, there are photographs of them which show you exactly the construction of the originals and this is reproduced from those as closely as possible. Now it's not perfect by any means, in the original there's these little buttonholes which there are two of on each flap so you can fix it in the different, um, at the different heights depending on the number of uh, charges carried in each pocket. These are worked into the weaving of the material obviously in this instance I've had to work these in as buttonholes essentially by hand and the holes lower down are far too big, this of course being because this is where the female part of the press stud was originally attached. Now a couple of photographs here showing how the parts, the original parts of the cartridge carriers were removed in order to allow this conversion. To remove the female part of the press stud it was necessary to use a drill to drill out the rivet which had been used to attach the head. Removing the male part of the press stud involved snipping away the washer which held the rivet in place. This was necessary because of the location of the male part of the press stud, the, the fixing point which is down inside the pouch. It was not practical to remove these in any other way. Once the original fixings were removed, the next thing to do of course was to work in the, uh, the buttonholes. So convert the hole left by the female part of the press stud here into a buttonhole and add one further up on the flap. That's obviously the way these end up closing at two different heights is you do no longer have the two uh, male parts of the press stud here. You have a single spigot there and then it's affected by having the two holes in the flap of the pouch itself. And basically what I did was uh, just measured and cut a second hole here. These have been stitched and also had uh, some glue added here just to dope the edges and to, to make sure there's no loose threads or anything there and give it a little bit of extra strength to the webbing. Uh, as I say, not a perfect reproduction of what there was, but visually from the outside it, it looks okay, it's not too bad. You can see the same has been done here on the little straps that loop around the belt. They are exactly the same, they've had the press studs removed as well, as is the case with the originals. They were also replaced with the, uh, the spigots rather than the press studs. Has left a bit of a mess here on the front, you can see where the lower male press stud was here. That has left a little bit of a, a mess, but it's not too bad. It's largely hidden by the flap. Uh, when closed. Inside we can see here that I have attached uh, the back of these using a washer um, uh, because the hole left by the male part of the press stud was quite a bit bigger than the uh, shank of the and the, the, the not, not a secure fit with the shank and the screw on the back of these studs. These uh, studs are screw in, they would originally have been riveted in place on the originals but obviously I've purchased the ones I've purchased screw in place so that's what I've gone with. Uh, as I say, it's not a perfect reproduction, but v visually, from the outside, it looks okay, and I'm quite happy. It was a nice little project to have a go at, and as I say, we'll have a look at this now uh, on a set of web equipment, just to give you an idea of what it looks like loaded and on the mannequin. As I say, here we have a shot of the cartridge carrier on a set of web equipment set up on the mannequin to give you an idea of what this looks like in use when fully loaded with ammunition, and I have to say I'm fairly happy with the result. So there we are, that was a quick run through of the conversion of these. I do need to get some smaller washers to go behind the, the studs uh, where they screw in place. That will be done at some point, the, functional for the minute, uh, but I will be replacing those at some point. You may have seen in the video, the washer was a little bit too large. Uh, but anyway, I hope you found it interesting looking at that conversion. Very easy to do, very simple to do, and the effect is 
okay. It's not too bad. It's never going to be put well, could be perfect if you made them new with the woven uh, holes in the flaps and so forth. But as, a con as conversions go, I think it, it looks fairly good, uh, though obviously the construction not exactly the same as they, as they were, but the, the visual effect is, is quite pleasing. So uh, I do hope you found that interesting. If you have and you'd like to see more from the channel, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And whether you're newly subscribing or you've already subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the little notification button down below, which of course will alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you'd like to support the channel, you can. There's both a PayPal and a Patreon link down below. And as usual, a massive thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those methods. There is, of course, social media for the channel as well. There's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter all linked down below in the description. And should you wish to make contact but you're not really a social media user, there's also an email address down there as well. But that's everything I wanted to cover in this video, I think. So until next time, bye for now.